hey everyone, Simona here, and I've got an idea for a possible implementation of the Notion's timeline view, which is a new feature, come out very recently, and that implementation is in training periodization. So for those of you who don't know, well, training periodization is, we'll see in a very short time what it is, because this is the outline of this short video that I'm trying to put together. Firstly, we're going to define training periodization very briefly, because this is not the scope of the video, and I'm not an expert in the area, so I don't want to... Uh, act like a fake expert. So I'll just give a little hint of what training periodization is, just to put a framework around um, what we're talking about. And secondly, I'm going to dive into what is the timeline view in Notion, um, which is a new feature, a database view that can be used. And finally, we'll work through a practical application of training periodization, so creating training programs in Notion using the timeline view. So first, training periodization, what is this? This is exactly, as you can read on the screen, the manipulation of training variables over time in order to reach certain goals, whether that be athletic goals, aesthetic goals, performance-based goals. And in particular, I want to talk about creating training programs and so periodizing for fitness or strength and conditioning, so a resistance training here. And what I refer to when I talk about manipulation of training variables is mainly volume and intensity. These are the basic, most fundamental variables um, to manipulate during the training period in order to achieve the best results possible. And while volume is all about the amount of work that you do during each training session and each period of training, um, which means the number of sets, number of repetitions that you do, intensity is how heavy you lift. So that's um, what is the percentage of your one rep max, i.e. the max amount of weight you can lift in a given exercise. However, again, this is not the focus of this video, because the focus of, the, of this video is on how to use, possibly use, Notion and the timeline view in Notion to create training programs that stretch over time in a periodization fashion. So let's try and look at that. Because this is what the timeline view in Notion looks like. This is a little screenshot. You can see that on the left there is um, the month right there, and this timeline view shows some cards, and each card is a page and you can manipulate and change the duration of each page based on um, what you'd like it to last for. And this is a perfect feature for creating training programs, right? So now we we'll dive into Notion and see how to practically use the timeline view for creating periodization plans and training programs directly in Notion. I'll see you there. And then this is a Notion page brand new page, blank, I've added the title, timeline view, and I quickly want to show you how you can directly create a timeline and add the training programs in there, deciding the period, stretching or shortening it and playing around with each page or card as you wish. So first, you're going to type slash timeline, and here is two options that Notion gives us. The first is to create a timeline inline, which means this is going to show in the page. The second option is to create a full page timeline. This is going to be a page which, when opened, is going to have the timeline table in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create it in line. All right. And one thing that I'm going to do is put this page in full width. There we go. All right. Move around. Now, as we can see here, there are three dummy pages already created by Notion. However, I'm going to start from scratch. So. What we're going to do first is we are deleting these pages. So we're going to click on this arrow here and we see that there are three pages, right? We're going to click on the dots, delete, delete, and delete. So here is a blank database in the time in timeline view. Okay. Now keep in mind that this is just a view of a database, right? So a database is a collection of data where there are headers and data, so rows and columns. And this is a way of displaying that data. Okay, so this is just a view, but for this purpose, I think training periodization can be started directly in the timeline view because it allows to see the date and time intervals, which is a crucial element in training periodization and the creation of training programs. Now, first thing that we're going to do is switch to a yearly view. That's because of this allows us to see the whole picture of the year, which is, um, as far as I know, pretty crucial in the first stage of starting a training periodization plan, because we want to see the whole year and decide 
to pull and uh, play around with the possible training programs and phases and um, how would you say that goals for each training program throughout the year so let's switch to ear view like that and we're going to start playing around okay so let's say the year is going to start here in november which is right now as i'm filming this so we're going to click and create a new page right so a new page created now because this is the first page we want to give it a bit of context okay so each table has got properties and properties are basically headers in the table now because this is the first page that we're going to create in this database we need to add some context so let's do that we're going to click and open this page we're going to call this let's see hypertrophy this is the first program of the possible periodization plan that we are laying out and it's called hypertrophy now the first thing that we notice here is that there is a date property we did not add this property well in fact we didn't add any of these properties and these are just um how would you how would you say that these are just basic properties that notion um assumes you are going to need however the date property as you can see here has got a start and end date it starts on november 3rd and it ends november 30th right and this is fundamental for the timeline view because the timeline view is going to be displayed based on this property the start and the end date and here because the training program is going to have a framework of duration we want to have a clear starting and ending date of the program all right so this is crucial and this property will definitely stay assign well this is a person property which allows you to assign the task to the people that are collaborating with you in your workspace so this can be a useful property if you want to assign each program to a certain athlete you that has got access to this workspace and these pages however if we are talking about a personal um turning position you're not going to need that much so let's scratch that we've got the status this is the status of the program we can leave it like this not not started in progress or completed sounds good so that we can track our programs uh, i'd add another property which would be focus how about that so focus is going to be a multi-select property and we can have hypertrophy um, and strength how about endurance and we might also do let me think um walk walk capacity right and these properties and we can select based on what's the focus of the program in this case it's going to be hypertrophy and we select this then um they might come to mind more properties to add um that are suitable for training programs to keep track of um but right now i haven't got much more in mind and this is not very important here so i'm gonna leave it like that for now okay now we are still in this page which is hypertrophy one the first program and another uh, key factor here to explain is that inside each page which you can see displayed in the timeline you can put the single training sessions or mesocycles for each program right so you can do this by creating tables for instance with each training session um, and sets and reps however what i would say is this i've written an article on how i use notion for creating training programs you might find this useful so you might want to check it out at simonemarie.com okay but feel free to not do so if you don't think this is going to be a valuable um, allocation of time for you okay so let's get back to the very aim of this article article this is a video let's get back to the very aim <laughs> so let's get back to the very aim of this video okay which is creating training plans directly in notion so we got hypertrophy one which is going to last well why not make make it last for two months pretty much okay i'm going to make it last for two months november to uh, december and here we can uh, keep laying out the programs i'm going to be creating another page here after the hypertrophy phase we might do a the old strength okay how about that that phase which is going to last a bit less um just like that um, and thirdly we must create another page this might be hypertrophy number two pretty long one and so we can keep going this video okay which is 
creating training plans directly in Notion. So we got hypertrophy one, which is gonna last. Well, why not make make it last for two months, pretty much? Okay, why not make it last for two months, November to uh, December? And here we can uh, keep laying out the programs. I'll maybe create another page here after the hypertrophy phase. We might do a the old strength. Okay, how about that? That phase, which is gonna last a bit less, um, just like that. Um, and thirdly, we must create another page. This might be hypertrophy number two. Pretty long one. And so we can keep going for however we want to make this periodization plan. So there is no real rule in here. Metabolite, okay, metabolite phase. 